Hello, and welcome to Citizen Baked Goods. Today we're going to be doing my China trip. This is a small bakery that I saw just on the side of the road. Very small, but still has these beautiful, beautiful cakes. They make them look so perfect. And they also have a few, just a few things, but they make sure they're perfect. That's the thing with what Chinese do, is they... In small places like this, they'll focus on a few things, just like these, but they'll make sure they're super good. So from this place, I just get a sponge roll. And the way they like to do everything is they weigh it out and then do that to cost. So she's just weighing it there and then she'll figure out how much it costs just from the weight. Let's just take a little look at these once more. Now we're into another bakery. This one more is the cafe and is focused more on sandwiches and more savory things. There's a few buns that are full of cream and stuff. Sorry for the camera work. There we go. But mainly very savory with cheese and herbs and sandwiches. A lot of buns in this place. But they also do have a few things like cheesecake over here. This is very uh, spongy cheesecake. And a few more sandwiches. And of course they have a small selection of cakes. Very nice style. Very beautiful in a lot of these places. And finally, the last bakery we went to. This place had both savory and sweet slash buttery. So this is the place we went to and bought most of our baked goods. The last two places, they are very good, but I wanted to find something more for what I would be making in my bakery. So you can see that there's a lot of breads. They also like to package the bread and paper bags instead of plastic but they also like to display all of their good desserts in these nice display cases it's very nice and of course they have their nice refrigerated beautiful cakes over here now we're just deciding what we're gonna be having and those are very good. Very buttery and flaky. It's very delicious. We ended up getting a few different things. That one over there with the custard on the top. And the figure eight was very delicious. But since there's just too much and there's... Three of us, we decided to get a whole bunch and then split them all. So we ended up getting... One of those big boys, half of that, you'll see in a second. But this this bakery was beautiful. Very large, though, a little too big for my liking. So these are all the things we got to taste test. So that little tart and the big tart all have uh, egg custard on top. Very delicious. That figure eight has like a cheese filling. Same with that half a bun. And then the other two are nice, flaky, buttery bread. It's delicious. The Chinese don't really have a lot of uh, traditional desserts. So a lot of their desserts are very westernized. So that's why they end up looking a lot like Europe's desserts. Now on to my trip itself. This is uh, the first place we went to, Fuzhou, beautiful at nighttime park that had a nice palace in the middle. It was like in the middle of the city, it's beautiful. Kind of like uh, New York's green patch. The next morning we went to a uh, Buddhist temple where we saw beautiful statues and an entire like teeming with turtles. That was pretty cool. Uh, this is the temple that you could burn incense at and pray at. It's really beautiful. Awesome place to be at. 
After Fuzhou, we took a high-speed train to Beijing. Along the way, I was taking a few pictures, but a few of them were too blurry, but that was a nice picture of a temple I randomly saw throughout the eight-hour trip. Then we went to the Forbidden Palace in Beijing, where you could see a lot of cool statues, like this lion turtle here. And some new, like those, that lion turtle is the old statue, and some new statues of like bulls. It was pretty cool. After that, we went to Heaven Temple. It's a nice Buddhist temple in Beijing as well. They have this tiny little strip of the old wall of Beijing. This isn't the Great Wall. This is just the old wall that used to surround the city. Now this is the Great Wall. This was awesome. Amazing. It stretched so far and was on top of a mountain. It was nuts. I didn't understand why they made it so huge. But I guess they really did need it back then. Then after that we went to the Emperor's Summer Palace, where we saw a beautiful park with beautiful buildings around it. There's a few people around there dressed up in old traditional outfits, so I took a few pictures around there. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I even have my own website. Thank you, and have a nice day.